Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get started with C++ on a Mac. So, to get started coding using C++, we need a compiler. So, although not perfect by any stretch, like many IDEs, I'm going to walk you through how to get started using Xcode, which is a very common coding platform when you're using a Mac. So, to get started, let's head over to the App Store and search for Xcode. Just note that this is a rather large download at 11 gigabytes, so it may be a bit slow. I should also preface this by saying Xcode is certainly not the only IDE you can use on a Mac. If you search C++ IDEs on a Mac, you'll find tons of suggestions and they almost all have their own pros and cons. An IDE stands for an Integrated Development Environment and it is a place where you can compile and run your C++ code. I definitely recommend you check out a few of the different IDEs once you get more comfortable with the language and choose the one that is right for you based on your personal preferences and goals. All right, so now that our Xcode download is complete, let's open it and accept anything that we are prompted to. And then it will go ahead and install the remaining components on your Mac. Now, we are ready to open Xcode and get coding in C++. So, let's make a new project, navigate over to the macOS command line tool, and give our project a name. And select that we want the C++ language. We'll save this file wherever you're not going to lose it, and since you're just beginning to learn C++, I'd recommend saving all your codes in a consolidated folder. For the organization identifier, you can just put anything. If you want to learn more about this though, just do a quick Google search and it'll tell you everything you need to know, but for now it is completely unnecessary. So let's just print a simple hello YouTube in C++ to make sure that everything is working correctly. So, if you want to test your Xcode is working correctly, just copy this code here. Do not worry about what everything means though, we will get more into depth in this in the next few videos. So, once we have our little program in here, let's just save this, click the little run play symbol thing here, and this will build our program. As you can see here, in the bottom of our screen, we receive our output, showing that we successfully built our first program. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped your understanding of how we get started coding in C++ on a Mac. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.